The year 2024 is right around the corner and with reality setting in, there might not be all that much more time to get your investment foundation built before the end of this year. And with the Fed most likely being done raising interest rates and even a great chance of rate cuts coming sometime mid next year, this could in fact be an amazing opportunity to lay some groundwork and invest into some high quality dividend growth ETFs before they skyrocket in price and we see their dividend yields plummet. Now in this video, we're going to go through what I think are three super growth dividend ETFs that could still be a good buying opportunity, at least as of now. Now could be a better time than ever to lock in these positions before 2024. So if this interests you at all, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below. And now let's get into the first super growth dividend ETF. So before we get into the first super growth dividend ETF, you guys might be asking me, well, what even is a super growth dividend ETF? Now, what I would consider a super growth dividend ETF is an ETF that offers massive growth potential, also pays a nice dividend yield, and also has exceptional dividend growth. But the first one that could be a good buying opportunity right now before 2024 and beyond is the VIG or the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF. And this ETF is one of my all-time favorites. Now, VIG's overview product summary says seeks to track the performance of the S&P U.S. Dividend Growers Index. Passively managed full replication approach remains fully invested. Now, I'm a huge fan of VIG long term for all of those reasons. VIG offers massive growth potential. The ETF is up over 229%. The ETF only has a 0.06% expense ratio. And even though VIG is currently trading towards the upper end of the 52 week range, as you can see, historically speaking, this ETF has pretty much done nothing but trade up into the right over the long term. So VIG has growth potential, it has a cheap expense ratio, it, has, it also has a dividend that is paid quarterly. Also, I am a huge fan of VIG because of the holding breakdown, technology being the number one position, which I'm not the biggest fan of holding only technology, but I absolutely love holding on to dividend growth ETFs that have a majority of technology because I do think long term, that's what's really going to drive the ETF price in the future. Now, some of the top holdings are some of the best companies that you and I can honestly think of. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, United Health Group, ExxonMobil, JP Morgan, Visa, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, Broadcom, and Master. VIG is around 300 different holdings, which makes this ETF very diversified. Next, looking into the other superpower of this ETF, it offers almost a 2% trailing 12-month dividend yield, which again, isn't the highest dividend yield in the world. But keep in mind, VIG is known for raising their dividend quarterly, at least over time. To give an idea, around 10 years ago, this ETF was paying around a 33 cent quarterly dividend, and now just has a recently 87 cents, upwards of 77 cents per share per quarter. So is VIG offering the cheapest entry point in the world right now? Absolutely not. But for long-term investors to start a position or to add to a position, VIG should definitely be on your radar. The next super growth dividend ETF is the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF or SEHD, and this is my absolute favorite. Now, SCHD's objective is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. Now, at least in my opinion, SCHD also makes it into that super growth category because just like VIG, SCHD has grown in ETF price consistently at least over the past 10 or 12 years, up until as of recently where the ETF has been trading basically sideways. But still, during this time frame even, the dividend has gotten bigger and bigger. Now, SCHD also offers a 0.06% expense ratio, which means this ETF is cheap to own, just like VIG. And SCHD is trading towards the middle low end of the 52-week range, which means this could be an awesome buying opportunity. And I personally have been taking full advantage of it, buying a ton of SCHD on a daily basis for months now. The top holdings in SHD are not necessarily my favorite, although overall I am still a fan. The top breakdowns are industrials at the top at almost 18%, then we have financials, healthcare, consumer, defensive, and 11.9% technology. The fact that the holding breakdowns are what they are is going to be the culprit on why SHD has traded the way it has, at least within the given time frame that we're talking about. Now the top holdings for SHD, things like Broadcom, Verizon, Amgen, Coca-Cola, Merck, PepsiCo, AbbVie, The Home Depot, Texas Instrument, and UPS. All for the most part super solid companies, around 100 altogether, so not as diversified as VIG, but still lots of blue chip names that we should be able to rely on. Now my favorite part about SCHD is this right here. The dividend yield trailing 12 months is around 3.7%, which gives investors a massive starting yield, especially considering the growth potential that this ETF has, not to mention the dividend growth has been very, very healthy. So healthy to a degree that around 10 years ago, SCHD was paying around 23 or 25 cents per share per quarter. And now just around 10 years later, 65, 66, and even 70 cents per share per quarter. 
So at least if history was to repeat itself, investors that buy into SHD long term should be able to make money not only on the share price, not only on the dividend, but also on the dividend growth long term. The last and final super growth dividend ETF that could be a massive buying opportunity as of right now is DGRW, the Wisdom Tree US Quality Dividend Growth Fund. Now, Wisdom Tree says why DGRW says gain access to the current investment landscape of US large cap dividend growing companies by applying quality and growth screens. Now, DGRW on the max time frame also looks absolutely beautiful. And this ETF came across my radar around a year ago, and I've been a huge fan of it ever since. The ETF's up around 173% on the max time frame. Now, DGRW is trading towards the higher end of the 52 week range. But still, like I talked about with VIG, investors that bought towards the upper end of previous times are still up like crazy on their investment. Now, DGRW does have a big expense ratio, at least just compared to the other two, at 0.28%, which definitely is something to consider, especially for those investors that are really stacking up some shares. Now, DGRW has a beautiful holding breakdown, in my opinion. 31% of this ETF is technology, then 15% is consumer defensive, 13.9% is industrials, and so on and so forth. Now, the top holdings for DGRW are honestly probably my favorite out of VIG and out of SHD out of all of them. The top holdings are things like Microsoft at the most, then Apple. Then we have things like Broadcom, Johnson & Johnson, Procter Gamble, The Home Depot, Merck, Coca-Cola, and Philip Morris, around 300 different holdings altogether, so very, very diversified. Now, DGRW's dividend yield is currently at around 2%, more or less, trailing 12 months. And what's pretty nice about DGRW, especially for those that are looking to use this ETF dividend, maybe for retirement, or maybe just to get more money in their cash balance to compound faster, DGRW does pay a dividend monthly. And historically speaking, just like VIG and SHD, DGRW has been raising the dividends up into the right since inception. So there we have it, three super growth dividend ETFs that I think could be offering a massive buying opportunity for investors that are looking to build out a foundation before 2024. Now, of course, none of us know exactly what's going to happen next in the stock market, but with the up and coming Fed pauses and even potential Federal Reserve interest rate cuts, I think that we could potentially see a massive rally in 2024, at least unless anything crazy happens before then. But now I want to hear from you guys down below. Out of all the ETFs we went through in this video, we went through VIG, we looked at SCHD, and we looked at DGRW. Out of all three of these different ETFs, which is your number one favorite and why? Drop it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and, and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.